Today we're making low FODMAP carrot cake cupcakes. Combine your dry ingredients in a bowl, including your all-purpose gluten-free flour, sugar, firmly packed brown sugar, baking soda, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, and allspice. Mix that all together and set it aside. Peel and then grate three large carrots. Keep grating, keep grating, then grate some more. Then set the grater in the bowl because you have no strength left to hold it. And just when you think you've grated enough, 110 more grams to go. Keep going. Unfortunately, this part does take absolutely forever, but it's a decent upper body workout. This should end up equaling about 175 grams, although you don't have to be too precise because there aren't any FODMAPs in carrots, so you can eat these freely. Now that you've grated your carrots, we can prepare the rest of the wet ingredients in a second large mixing bowl. Whisk together two eggs, some vegetable oil, some vanilla extract, and some low FODMAP milk. At this point, we can go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees and take out our cream cheese and butter and let it sit at room temperature. Then measure out 37 grams of walnuts or pecans and lay them out on a baking sheet. Toast in the oven for six minutes. So let's talk about our ingredients for a second. There is some oil in the wet mixture, and since we're using cream cheese and butter for the icing, we'll want to be careful with fat content. There aren't any FODMAPs in the carrots. The 37 grams of walnuts contain oligosfructans, and the 62 grams of raisins we're adding contain fructans. So we don't want to go overboard and get into FODMAP stacking territory. We'll end up with about 3 grams of walnuts and 5 grams of raisins per cupcake, well below the threshold recommended by Menashe of 30 grams of walnuts and 13 grams of raisins. So you see, there is some leeway to add more of each, but since I have reactions even to the lowest amounts, I keep these measurements very low for myself. Fold in your grated carrots, walnuts, and raisins into your wet mixture. Add the wet mixture to your dry mixture and fold until completely combined. Coat your cupcake pan with cooking spray and fill your muffin tins about three quarters of the way full of your carrot cake batter and put them in the oven. Let them bake for about 20 minutes and cool while you make your frosting. For the cream cheese frosting, I'm using an eight ounce package of Daya plain cream cheese spread at room temperature and eight tablespoons of unsalted butter chopped also at room temperature. You'll want to combine this until it's smooth before adding your vanilla extract and a pinch of salt. However, because I'm trying to do this by hand and realize halfway through that my tiny muscle arms can't take any more after grating carrots for half an hour, I decided to transfer to a stand mixer. Measure out three cups of confectioner sugar and add to the mixture slowly until you reach a desired thickness. Add your cream cheese frosting to a piping bag and pipe onto your cooled cupcakes. I know this is a short video, but it actually took me almost three hours to make. So I definitely feel like I earned this cupcake. Enjoy.